Welcome to Craig Baxo. So my next question, you're going to be like, what? Okay, so I love to ask people about the unexplained. So is there a story that you can share that whether you feel like you've seen a ghost or anything under that nature that you could share? Or felt a presence? Um, yeah, I this is more about the, the things that I dream. Um, I guess dreams was, was part of this, right? Okay. Yeah. I have, I have very vivid, weird fucking dreams. And sometimes, um, sometimes they are premonitions a little bit. Um, when I was younger, I had this crazy dream that I went on an international tour and I was doing like, uh, postage signings or whatever in the back and somebody got a picture of me with a poster and then they wanted a picture uh with me and so this person and they looked like they could have been like mixed with um in my head it was uh they looked like they were black in some kind of um asian culture or something like that and they got a picture with me they looked at it and they were like you really do look like my sister and i was like on the fuck what are you talking about and they were like yeah I knew you were my sister and then they showed me a picture of my dad when he uh was in the military and he was over in Vietnam and they were like this is my father and my dad also has a picture of a Vietnamese him and a Vietnamese girl when he was in Vietnam and so um we talked and everything this is still all in my dream we talked and I, I, we all went over to his house. He cooked and, and made dinner for us. And then he came to my next show. And then I woke up from this dream. And so a few years later, I still remember that shit. And I was asking my mom, because my father passed away when I was 13. Um, I was asking my mom, did dad ever talk about having like maybe a, a kid in Vietnam or in Korea or anything like that? And she was like, he might have. She was like, he, he had discussed that, you know, they had, you know, the military had comfort girls. Sometimes they, right. either they had the comfort girls come through or, you know, every once in a while, the military would go out to the bars in the area and they would just, you know, have their fun or whatever. And she was like, he, he may have had something go on that he, you know, never really looked into because it was, it, that's just the way that it was. It was fucked up, but that's the way that it was, you know, that's dripped in a whole bunch of things that's a whole nother topic but anyway needless to say <laughs> she said that yeah that might be possible and I told her about the dream and she was like well don't be surprised if you meet your brother later on in life on an international tour because it could be possible and I was like okay all right <laughs> that's yeah crazy. right yeah um so that's one thing. And then I want to talk about this next thing and then I'm going to be done because I'm rambling right now. No, I love, I mean, I just, I love all these kinds of things. So I okay, good, good, good. Um, last year, yeah, it was last year. Um, I had a dream that me and my best friend, we were in the mountains and we stayed on this hotel that was on the mountainside. And um, like across the mountain, it was like over this valley, there was like a manufacturing plant over there. And it was just on the side of the mountain. Like it was, it was just there. Like, I don't know why, I don't know what was being manufactured over there, but it was there. And so all of a sudden we woke up in the middle, middle of the night to an explosion. And it was the mountain erupting, but it wasn't a volcano. It was like the mountain just blew up. And then the manufacturing plant across the, the, the way blew up too. And so we're running to my car, which I drive a little Honda, a little gray Honda Accord. And all this debris is just flying and floating. And we're just like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? We get in the car, we start zooming down the car and there's like a Honda, like a Honda um, logo that's flying off of the manufacturing plant. And so I wake up from that shit and I'm like, the fuck is going on? Right. <laughs> and then I start looking, I'm, I'm searching because I'm like, there's no reason why I'm having this dream. Like, there has to be an actual explosion going on. And so I look and it says that the night before when I was asleep, there was a Honda manufacturing plant that exploded in Japan. Yeah. And I'm like, the fuck is that? <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'm 
thinking I'm, I'm just putting all the pieces together. I'm like, yo, that that's crazy. So I, I usually have these crazy dreams and I don't know why child. I, no. I don't know why. You know, what's so funny. I'm obviously, I don't know if they're, they're as intense as yours, but I do too. And like, I, I've started doing a dream journal to just like wake up and just write that shit down and not try to analyze yeah. it. But it is hard to like, I don't know if you like struggle with this. Like, do I like analyze the shit out of this and like compare it to what's going on? Um, but I don't want to say it's a struggle. I mean, obviously both of us, especially, it sounds like it's a gift. Mm-hmm. I think so too. I, um, because I've always had these dreams like this since I was a kid, I think it's a gift. I just don't really know exactly how to use it. Um, and that's probably my, my issue is like, I always wonder why, you know, why, because I have no idea. Um, every once in a while I've had dead people come to me in my dreams too. And sometimes I've had people that I did not know were dead come to me in my dreams. And that was a, that's something that happened very recently. Um, one of my old friends that I used to work with, um, she passed in 2018, but I had no idea. Like the last time I talked to her was maybe six years ago. And my last message is said, I love you. And she was, she was in remission from cancer. So I'm thinking, you know, I haven't talked to Christina in a long time, but I'm sure she's okay. Last time I heard she was in remission, she was doing great. And then I had this dream and she came to me and um, I'm helping her move. I'm helping her, her and her family move to a different house. And so we're taking a break from moving the furniture and we're sitting across from each other in the, in the couches and we're talking about everything. And like, I'm telling her, I'm sorry, I haven't talked to you in a long time, but you know, now I'm here. And she's like, oh no, that's okay. We've both been doing what we need to do. We've both been trying to survive. It's okay, you're here now. So let's just keep on moving. That she disappears from the couch. But in, in my dream, I think nothing of it, I just get up and I continue to move furniture. And then like three hours pass in my dream. And I ask her uncle, I'm like, where's Christina? She just, you know, up and left. And he's like, Christina was never here. Christina's been gone for a while. And I'm like, but I was just talking to her. And he's like, no, she, she's she been dead for a minute. She passed away a few years ago. Um, I, did you think you saw her? And I was like, what the fuck? And I woke up from that dream and I woke up in tears because I'm like, what? Okay. Okay. What the fuck? What's going on? And then I go to Christina's Facebook page and I, I scroll down. And I'm seeing people say they miss her. And I'm like, she died three years ago and I had no idea. And so she, I, I want to say she visited me in my dream to, to give me forgiveness, let me know, you know, it's okay that I haven't spoken to you in a while. Um, but that was one of those where I was like, okay, maybe I need to go back to sleep because maybe there's some <laughs> other things I need to f- figure out, you know? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I totally believe in like people visiting you. I have, um, yeah, I wish I, like, I could go on all day about my um, my dreams, but I definitely just from everything you're telling me, yeah, it definitely sounds like you have a gift for sure. For sure. Then that's amazing that like, yeah, like, you know, that souls are able to visit you. Um, I, ha- and I mean, not that like, you know, a hundred percent, but have you ever had a reoccurring dream about like someone from, I guess, like your like childhood that you were like never close with, but they're like reoccurring. Yes. And it was somebody that I did not like either. So I'm like, why are you what does here? That mean? You know? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I don't, that's the thing is like interpreting dreams is so difficult because you ask one person what your dream meant and they have something totally different from the next person. So I'm like, I don't know yeah. what's going on. <laughs> no, true. I just wonder, at least from on my end, that's happened to me. I'm like, are they going to show up at some point? You right. Know what I mean? Right. Do I want that to happen? No. Yeah. <laughs> Are you here to apologize or not? <laughs> right. Right. Oh my goodness. Well, like I said, again, I appreciate you sharing. Very mm-hmm. cool. Thank you for asking. I've never gotten that question. So that was nice yeah. to be able to talk about that. Absolutely. And like I said, please, well, obviously we're going to stay in touch. So if you ever go on a tour and find a sibling, you will be the first one I tell. Please. I will. <laughs> Thank you, Katie Black. You're amazing. Thank you, love. I love your energy. Yes, great energy. 
What up?